Hey guys, my name's Adam. Welcome back to Driven Nashville. I am super excited today because we are redoing the garage floors in my personal home. Now you guys know if you followed me a couple years ago, I redid these floors with epoxy coating. Let me tell you, I would not do that again. I had to keep my Aston Martin in a personal uh, friend's garage, right, for about seven days. I had to keep my cars on the street. I had the neighborhood police kind of coming up to me saying, hey, you need to move your cars. It was not a fun process. And as you can see, these floors, I had to put mats down because they were having hot tire marks. I've got cracks that have shown up and have never been filled in. So this gentleman here, Dalton, Good to see you, man. Yes, I'm super excited. Man. Absolutely. These guys are from Titan Garage Flooring Solutions. So I interviewed a number of companies. You know, if you go and Google, you'll see these guys have a ton of reviews. You guys have like, what, five, seven hundred reviews? A lot. A lot. Uh, so. All like five star rating. I mean, these guys are rock stars, right? Absolutely. And they are going to go through the entire process today. And I'm going to show that so you understand the differences between epoxy and it's polyurea. Is that right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Or is it polysporadic? I'm learning all these fun Poly, terms. Polyurea base coat, polyaspartic top coat. There you go. Um, bottom line is, they tell me it's a lifetime warranty, Correct. which is exciting. They tell me it won't peel, Absolutely. it won't chip, mm -hmm. it won't have issues with hot tire marks. Right, right. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So they'll all be warrantied if you did. So I'm super jazzed about that, right? So when I pull the Aston Martin in later, it's going to be after a nice hot spirited yeah. drive. Yeah. Not going to be any problems. Yep. I'll be driving, you'll be riding. It's be great. <laughs> of course, of course. So uh, stick around, guys. We're going to do the whole video, some B roll, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. So here's, here's basically the steps, right? They come in here and they had to grind all of my epoxy off of it, which took a lot longer than probably if you just had normal concrete. Then all you have to do is prep the concrete. But they have to get that whole black layer off. Then they have to essentially prep the concrete from there. So that took an extra hour to an hour and a half. After that, they put this poly coat down. It basically just looks almost like an epoxy coating, right? And then they throw the paint chips on, which they've just done. Uh, after this, they're gonna make sure that all the paint chips are, are distributed perfectly. They're gonna reclaim all of this used paint chips by sucking it up, essentially. And then they're gonna put the final top coat on it, and they're done. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, it can take, you know, for a two-car garage, probably no more than six hours. Uh, mine may come in a little bit longer, just because it's a slightly bigger garage and we had to scrape off the initial top coat. But I do like the way it looks. I went with a color called gravel. So essentially, as you can see here, it's three shades of, you know, two shades of gray, excuse me, kind of a light gray, dark gray, and then a white. And if you notice my, my, my walls, two shades of gray and kind of a lighter, uh, kind of a lighter white trim. So matches perfectly and I really like it. Yeah. 